guys, Tom here. Friday is upon us again, and you know what that means? It's happy hour. Let's start the weekend off with a bang. This week, again, it's going to be something a little different. I'm not going to talk to you about an alcohol or a liquor. I'm going to talk to you about an ingredient, and the ingredient this week is from the Humble Bumble, good old honey. You know, you can use honey in a lot of different ways. Obviously, we all use it in breakfast, tea, oatmeal, that kind of stuff. But honey adds a great punch to your cocktails. And today, I'm going to show you a couple that celebrates honey and everything that the little honey bee gives us. So let's start right off with a drink called the Tequila Honey Bee. It's real easy. You just take a shaker and again, for this one, I'm just going to use a mason jar. I'm going to put some ice in it. And I'm going to use tequila, naturally, since it's called a tequila honeybee. And it's going to be two ounces of tequila. And these little measures that I use, you see me use, it's a great little measure. You don't have to, you don't really have to look at anything. They have little ridges on them and you just line it up to the volume you want on the ridge and you're good to go. Next is a little honey syrup. And what honey syrup is, you see me use simple syrup before, and honey syrup is really the same thing it's just, you take equal parts sugar and water, you put it on the stove, you bring it up to a boil, you let it go. You turn it off, let it cool. But do not walk away from this stuff, whatever you do. Unlike simple syrup, this stuff will boil over, you'll be cleaning your stove for days. Trust me, I know because I made this twice. So, to the two ounces of the tequila, it's gonna be one ounce of honey syrup, three quarters ounce of lemon juice. And remember, when you go to the store, this is the packaging lemon juice comes in. Don't let me find out you're buying that crazy stuff in the jar. Three quarter ounce of lemon juice. A mere dash of bitters. We talked about bitters before, it's just an aromatic ingredient. Give it a shake. And then you just take a low ball, a rock glass, a little more ice. You can put a little swizzler in there if you like, a twist of lemon. Don't forget, you want that essential oil from the lemon peel so twisted. It's called a twist for a reason. And there you have the tequila honeybee. The next one is called a sweet Tennessee highball. And if you recall from the last time we were together, where one time we were together, a highball is nothing more than a liquor and a mixer. This one's gonna have a couple additives to it, but it's still basically the same thing. So, in the shaker glass, a little bit of ice. And then you need some of your favorite honey flavored bourbon. Again, I'm going to go two ounces. And most bourbon companies now make a honey flavored version. So whichever one you like, that's the one you use. Again, one ounce of 
lemon juice. One ounce of the honey syrup. Take your shaker top and shake. And honey is actually a great ingredient when it comes to cocktails because just like in baking or any other food you use honey with, there's all kinds of varieties of honey. The traditional obviously is clover honey, but there's wildflower honey, um, all kinds of different honeys. It slips my mind off the top, but, and that'll just add more different flavors to your cocktail that you're using with honey. And then after you pour it into a glass, just top it with some club soda. A straw. A lemon wedge. And that is your sweet tea, excuse me, your sweet Tennessee highball. Okay, the next one is called a bee's knees. And what you need for this is rum, and you can use any kind of rum you like. Dark rum, light rum, spiced rum, regular rum, 151 rum. Originally calls for light rum, so that's what I'm gonna use. But if you like to change up the flavors and stuff like that, use any kind of rum you like. So I'm gonna put two ounces of rum and I'm not gonna put any ice in this shaker just yet, and I'll tell you why in a minute. A half ounce of lemon. And about a half ounce of honey. Straight honey this time. And the reason I'm not putting ice in here is because if you try to mix this up with the honey and the ice, it, the honey is just going to glob up. So put it in your shaker and try to get that honey dissolved first. And you're really going to have to shake it. To get that honey dissolved. And then once the honey is dissolved, then go ahead and add your ice to chill it. That way your honey is dissolved in the drink and you get the full flavor of the honey without leaving any on the side of the glass. So I'm just going to pour that into a bigger glass to be able to strain it. You want a nice chilled cocktail glass. side and that is the bee's knees cocktail so finally today similar to the bee's knees is the bee's kiss and the bee's kiss is kind of the same drink but not really so it's gonna be rum this time I'm gonna use some spice rum again I want two ounces of rum but just like with the other drink you use the rum you like I want a little bit of just the honey syrup this time. So I'm gonna say about an ounce. And then I want about an ounce and a half of cream. Light cream, heavy cream, half and correct half, milk, doesn't matter to me. This time, since we used the honey syrup, you can go ahead and put that ice in there. And 
shake it with the ice. Again, nice big shaker. It's perfect for this. You can make one, you can make five, you can make ten. The shaker is big enough to accommodate however many you want to make. And shake away. Now, a good thing about these uh, metal shakers is supposedly you're supposed to shake it and you know it's chilled enough because frost starts on the outside of the shaker. Or until your hands get so numb you can't shake anymore. So that is good and cold. Another nice chilled cocktail glass. No garnish is necessary for this one. The creamy honey bees kiss. So if you like the flavor of honey, please give one of these cocktails a try. It's a new way to add sweetness to a drink without using just regular sugar syrup. And then while you're at it, while you're enjoying a nice drink, make sure you go ahead, hit that subscribe button below. So until I see you next time, remember, enjoy a honey drink, enjoy it responsibly, but most importantly, take care of yourself and your home. Cheers.